All right, guys, we finally made it. We are in Colonial Heights, Virginia for the AMO Nationals. It's about 20 miles south of Richmond. We left out of PA this morning, three and a half hour ride. Why not take a five hours? The traffic was miserable. Miserable, coming around DC and also coming around um, 95 south of Virginia is terrible. But we're here, we're safe, and uh, we're gonna go start the event, so stick around. All right, this thing is, <laughs> yeah, she's an old A-Scheme SC Rambler, hers, needs some love and that's for sure, but it's still wild, man, old race car, probably got a fuel cell in it, looks like a little fatter tires on it, so it's got probably a mini tub in it. <laughs> she definitely definitely seen some better days but it is the original scrambler wow cool so the show doesn't start until tomorrow but everybody's just hanging out here chilling and pre-gaming but look at this this is a b scheme you see the difference between the a scheme over there and the B scheme has the line on the bottom. This is a really good example of a the SC scrambler and the B scheme. So yeah, these are pretty cool cars. These are pretty rare cars too. I mean, they were used for racing back in the day. So that meant a lot of them got chopped up and cut up like that one we saw over there. So. Not many were made to begin with, and then the fact that they chopped them up makes them that much cooler and rare. All right, this is my daughter and son-in-law's car. Cool little gremlin, the Levi Edition. Y'all have seen this one on the channel before. If you don't know what the Levi Edition is, they put actually jean material in here. There's the Levi button right there. It actually does have an 8-track that plays. So how cool is that, right? All right, we have a cool Matador racer. Everybody probably remembers Bobby Allison back in the day racing the Matador. So this is a, I don't know if it's the original car. Let's have a look, see. Reproduction Matador owned by Bobby Allison. So this was owned by Bobby Allison for over 35 years. So yeah, this was probably the car he raced then, huh? There you go. I got a Matador and NASCAR. Pretty cool. All right, we got a cool little Rambler American right here. Nice little paint. Got red line wheels on that bad boy. So like I said, this show don't kick off till tomorrow, but everybody's just chilling out. Yeah, that's pretty javelin right there. I don't know if you can see in there, but it's cool interior. Javelin. We'll get more pictures and closer up looks at all this stuff tomorrow when the show actually starts. We got ourselves a AMX over there. Here's a red AMX. And we have a racing spirit right there. Let's go check that out. All right, so this is a spirit. Looks like he did some road racing with it. Cool. <laughs> pretty cool, pretty cool. So tomorrow all this will be vendors right back over here. And then this whole parking lot, there won't be any regular cars in here. It will be all um, AMCs. I mean, you don't get to see AMCs, this many of them in one place, but tomorrow is going to be the day. We'll horn it right there. Now the Rogue, see a Rogue is a brand, no, is like an option for um, a Rambler. It's a Rambler Rogue, but pretty cool there. There's another pretty Rogue. These two right here are convertibles, which I think a Rambler and a convertible is so cool, especially this thing. Look at that. 
You can't see it, I know. This is a nice car right here. Hmm. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, I drive the wheels off of this thing. All right, guys. So anyway, I'm going to drop this video. Look for the other videos this event tomorrow. And uh, right now, I'm going to get some barbecue and a cold Miller Lite and just enjoy my evening before the show starts tomorrow. Real quick, we have another convertible. And then we got right here an old Rambler. Check this out. They just got here. They're going in the register. That's old school right there, right? Alrighty, that's sweet. Alright, real quick, real quick, and then I'm done for this one. This right here is a Gremlin. This is my son-in-law's parents' car. So this is a base model Gremlin. I mean, it has no op no back seat in it. The back glass doesn't even open. It's just a bare bones, no option, which makes it very rare and very, very cool. And this, this thing, it is up for a big award right here because it's restored flawlessly. See that? Look at that. Those little tiny <laughs> bias tires. It's just a cool little car. So, all right. Time for the beer and the barbecue. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, guys. What an awesome Rebel. This thing is beautiful. I tell you what. I, I appreciate all cars. But if, I, I, I swear, AMCs, some people don't get it. But, uh, man, you got to look at the history of it. The fact that they're they're still here, you just can't go pull parts off the shelf like you know Chevys and Fords, even Mopars, and uh, they're here, man. But look at this thing, it is beautiful. Also, in the videos tomorrow, you are going to see a very rare AM AM X3. I've never seen one in person. I probably never will get to see one again. It's valued at like a million dollars and uh just a cool car so that's going to be in the video tomorrow this is a matador but yeah you got to check out the video tomorrow and and you got to see the amx3 like i say you may never get a chance to see one unless you do your own research that's a clean car um do your own research and uh yeah like i say i've never seen one before and might never get a chance to see one again beautiful 390 Big bag green, beautiful car, beautiful car. Again, these are rare production numbers on these cars and it just makes them that much cooler. So stick around, check out the videos coming the rest of the weekend and uh, thanks for watching.